Hey, good morning. Welcome back into Good Day Tulsa. It's about 9-12. Well, the Riverwalk Crossing is the place to be for dog lovers. This Saturday is the first annual Rock and Rescue. Just about every shelter in our area is going to be there with their adoptable dogs, and you can also bring your dog for all the fun as well. Here with more information, we have Jamie Suarez, Debbie Stellis over there on the end, and Keith Marlowe here in the middle. How are you all? Pretty good. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Let's kick off and then uh, talk in general about this event. This is great. Yes, uh, Rock and Rescue is an um, event where several rescue groups from all over Green Country are going to come together, and it's an opportunity for everybody, like families, and it's a free event, too. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Big bonus there. Uh, to come out and see what kind of pets our local rescues and shelters have, because they do have wonderful, beautiful pets. An example, the dog that <laughs> Debbie has over here. Tell me about her. She's so cute, and she loves you. <laughs> yes, she does, because I'm the one that rescued her from the... She was roaming around Lake Claremore for about two weeks, scrounging for food. And uh, right before an uh, ice storm, we went and got her. And so she's only about four years old. Her age is, her age is not as what you think it is. Yeah, nice gray hair on her face. <laughs> yes. We think she may even have healer in her. But she's a very, very sweet dog, housebroken, great with kids, great with other animals. Yeah, and you have a lot of black dogs specifically that are up for adoption. We do. We always tend to, they, they just don't adopt out as quickly. So we're promoting our black dogs, and some of them are two to three years old already. And that's what we really want to try and adopt out this weekend. Yeah. And rescue dogs. I mean, just looking at her and her relationship to you, <laughs> during the break, she wouldn't stop staring at you. I know. Like, I it's, love hard. You. it's hard. It's <laughs> hard. It's hard. Yeah. But we're very grateful to the Alliance for putting on this event. As a rescue group, we spend all our time rescue and adopting. And it's hard to organize something as great as this. And we appreciate being a part of it. And Keith, this is going to be a great event. And it's so much more. I mean, it's adopting dogs, but there's a lot more going on on Saturday. There is. There's a a lot of live music, of course. Uh, 10 to 4, our event. There's live bands throughout the morning into the afternoon. And our own Nina Valente from David in the morning. Her band, the Woodshed Revival, will be nice. playing uh, Saturday afternoon. And uh, we're looking forward to a fun day with lots of live music, food, and fun. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the microchip situations, because that's an opportunity that's also right. available Saturday. Right. Uh, we have 100 microchips uh, that, that we'll have for pets. The first 100 people that come can take advantage of this. They're going to be $20. Uh, as compared to what? To probably 60, between 60 and $80 at a veterinary. Okay, and explain what the microchip does. The so microchip is a ID tag, sort of, that's inserted in uh, their neck here. Okay. And um, if they get lost, they don't have their uh, regular ID tags on, they can scan, be scanned at a veterinary at a shelter, which traces them back to their owner. That's great. And mm -hmm. Keith, tell me about the partnership between Mix 96 and the Alliance. Why is this so important to you all? Why did you decide that it's time to start this event this year? Well, uh, we have a serious problem in Tulsa area. Uh, 4,000 animals euthanized every year. So Mix 96, part of our uh, process of getting more involved in the community, we wanted to make an impact with our pet shelters and rescues. They need all the help they can get with getting the word out that they've got great dogs, that are mixed breed and full breed that are great for families and we just want to spotlight any way we can the shelters and rescues. Well good for you all. Real quick before we go, any idea how many dogs are going to be out there that are up for adoption? Uh, or we know the say day probably about 150, 250. Something for everyone mm -hmm. if you're dog hunting. All right, thank you all so much for coming in. We do appreciate you. You will need to go and check this out. Bring your dog, go there to adopt a dog. A great combination of things. It's the first annual Rock and Rescue this Saturday from 10 until 4 at the Riverwalk Crossing in Jinx. Go online to animalalliancok.org for more information or call 742-3700. And Keith, this is a great opportunity for you to adopt that second, third dog. Great idea. <laughs> Probably if, if we needed one. All right, thanks, Chris.